what rights do you have when you own real estate? Well, it's not just about a physical structure or a piece of land you call your own. It's much more than that. You see, when you own real estate, you're entitled to a bundle of rights. This bundle includes rights like possession, control, exclusion, enjoyment, and disposition. Now you might be thinking, what on earth are these rights? Intriguing, isn't it? Stay tuned as we delve into the bundle of rights one by one. First up in the bundle of rights is the right of possession. This right is all about establishing you, the title holder, as the legal owner of the property. Let's imagine you purchase a house. From the moment the title is transferred to you, you become the legal owner of that house. This means you have the right to possess and occupy the property. It's like getting the keys to your new car. The moment you receive the keys, you have the right to drive it, park it, and essentially use it as you see fit. The same applies to owning a home. You can live in it, rent it out, or even leave it empty if you so wish. But remember, this right isn't absolute. It's subject to various laws and regulations. For example, you can't use your property in a way that violates local zoning laws or homeowner association rules. Next, we have the right of control and the right of exclusion. Let's break these down. The right of control essentially means that as the title holder, you can utilize the property as you see fit. Whether you want to paint your house bright pink or plant a forest of apple trees in the backyard, that's your prerogative. Now let's talk about the right of exclusion. This right allows you to decide who can and cannot access your property. Picture this, you've posted a no trespassing sign on your front lawn. This is a simple everyday example of exercising your right of exclusion. It's your way of saying, hey, this is my space and I get to decide who steps foot on it. But remember, these rights aren't absolute. You'll need to consider certain exceptions, such as easements and search warrants, as well as local laws and regulations. If you are part of an homeowners association, HOA, you will also have some restrictions. Still, the beauty of owning property lies in these rights. You have the power to shape your space according to your desires and to protect it from unwanted intrusion. The last two rights in the bundle are the right to enjoyment and the right to disposition. Now these may sound like a mouthful, but don't worry, we'll break them down nice and easy for you. First up, we have the right to enjoyment. This is your ticket to engage in any lawful activities on your property. You want to host a grand summer barbecue party in your backyard? Go for it. Or perhaps you'd prefer a quiet evening of stargazing on your rooftop. That's your call. As long as it's lawful and doesn't infringe upon the rights of others, the right to enjoyment lets you enjoy your property in the way you see fit. But remember, this right isn't without its limitations. For instance, there might be noise control laws or homeowner association rules you need to adhere to. So before you set up that drum set in your living room, you might want to check in with the local regulations and your neighbors. Next, we have the right of disposition. This one is all about your ability to transfer ownership of your property. Want to sell your property and move to the countryside? You can do that. Want to pass on your beloved family home to your children? That's your prerogative. This right gives you the freedom to determine the future of your property. But just like the right to enjoyment, the right of disposition isn't without its restrictions. Mortgage obligations, liens, or even certain local laws can influence your ability to sell or pass on your property. So, before making any major decisions, it's always a good idea to seek professional advice. Together, the right to enjoyment and the right to disposition provide you with the freedom to use your property for pleasure and to decide its future. They enable you to live your life on your terms, in your space. These rights give you the freedom to use your property for pleasure and to sell or pass on your property as you wish. So, go ahead, enjoy that property of yours and rest easy knowing you have the power to shape its destiny. So there you have it. Owning real estate is about navigating a complex set of rights and responsibilities. From possession to disposition, each right offers freedom, but also comes with its fair share of limitations. Understanding this bundle of rights is key to fully enjoying and making the most of your property. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful home-related tips and guides. See you in the next one.